Hi, we were sent this nice uh, Redmond waffle iron, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little uh, review and check this out and see see how this thing is, and it looks pretty good. But let's see uh, see what we got here. It says, let me get my glasses on. Okay, Redmond waffle maker, one year warranty, cool touch handle, anti leak system, non stick for easy cleaning. So let's see what we got here. Yeah. All right, come on. There we go. There's the user's manual. So here we go. Looks like it's pretty easy to use it says uh, main features four piece cooking tray non-stick grill plates red power indicator light green indicator light anti-slip and cool touch handle getting started so there's a uh, care and clean waffle recipes warranty cool okay where's the top right there Okay, there we go. So there's the top of it. It's pretty nice. And there's a latch right there that locks. So there we go. There's the, the griddle, red light, green light. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna get set up. We're gonna actually go cook outside. So we're gonna do some outdoor waffles on this Redmond waffle iron. So we'll get set up for that and we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready to do this. In that last take, I said we was gonna cook outdoors, but we was reading the manual and it says, uh, do not use outdoors. So we're just gonna do outdoor cooking without indoors today. But here's the, the iron, so we'll, let's plug this in. There we go, so the red light's on and the green light's on. So when it gets preheated, this green light will go off and then it just cycles and keeps that temperature while you're cooking your waffles. So we'll just let that preheat. And I'm going to make some, some waffle batter here. But we're going to put it in this and we'll sift it all together. So there's a cup of flour. Set that there. And then baking powder next, a teaspoon of baking powder, so there's the baking powder, okay some salt, a quarter teaspoon of salt, get that in there, that filled up a little bit so I'll do that, perfect, just like that, and then uh, we use the same thing here, quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Put that there. Cup of milk. But that's not what I want to do, Jenny. I'm getting ahead of myself. So we need that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to pour the milk through the sifter. So nope. Let's, let's sift this yet. We got all the dry ingredients. Look at that mess I'm making on the dishwasher. You can probably sit better than me, but this'll... You're this, doing it. This'll be good. So let's do that. We'll set that there. Okay, and then we can do the one cup of milk. And Jenny squeezed some fresh lemons, so we got two tablespoons of lemon juice, like that. And then I was supposed to put this in when we first started to soften butter. There, there we go. So we have the butter softening. Then I got one egg here. I'm actually going to put that beater in there for that. I'm going to beat this egg with this fork. 
so three mics off so it looks like that waffle iron's ready so we'll just pour this egg in here like that and then we'll uh wait for the butter when the butter get melted i'll put put it in there and uh mix that all up and then we'll be back and we'll start cooking some waffles so we'll see you back Okay, we're ready. The batter mixed up good. Look at that. Nice and smooth. So it says uh, the first use to put a little oil on the griddle. So I'll just kind of give each one a little, little drop of oil. And then it says uh, It'll cook for about four to five minutes and it steams out the side when the steam subsides. That's when your waffles are done. So let's load this in here. It says make sure it's filled all the way to the corners. So kind of push it around. That looks like it will run out to the corner that might overflow right there but let's close it oh i killed it <laughs> that's awesome it'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> now i can't see the lights oh my heck <laughs> i put way too much that's no, okay okay so this is this is the first time I've used this, but yeah, that was a... And you're not a waffle maker, really, so yeah. This. What do you mean I'm not a waffle maker? <laughs> okay, that, it gave a good effect, so let's see. So there, there we go. <laughs> We're just going to do this, so... Don't put as much batter as I put in. Maybe just... <laughs> this is a quarter cup, so probably just a quarter cup in each... And I probably put six of those suckers in there. But so now the green light's on, so it's preheating it, and it's and it's getting back up to the temperature. So it's probably going to be another four minutes. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but I can see there's a lot of steam coming out there. So this is cool. So we'll uh, just let it finish, and then when the steam subsides, we'll uh, we'll open it up and see see how good of waffles we made. So we'll see you back. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's just barely steaming out of that corner, so let's push the latch. Oh, yeah. Look oh. at those golden brown waffles. Holy smoke. Look at that. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> Perfect. That is good. So, I'm going to set that there. I should have... I'm going to just reach over here and grab a plate. But look at that. Both sides. Perfect. And I got a little syrup here. Let's try this out. Man, that's good. So here we go. It looked like a waterfall for a minute out of the front of the waffle iron with that batter, but man. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is delicious. So there we go, yeah. It took like four or five minutes, but I did, the steam it was coming out a lot, and then it just kind of went down, but... Look, I'm going to finish off the batter, but I'm just going to go like that. That. And there's just about a half, so I can probably just divide. We just made a small, but yeah. We'll go like that. Cook us two more waffles, but yeah, that worked great. I'll have a link to the, in the description. Check this out. It's a great product. Uh... Even though I made a mess of it, it works great. So I uh, hope you like this video. We'll see you next time.